I will show you a lick that I play a lot. I play a lot this kind of arpeggios. So if you know everything about arpeggios, never mind. This video is not for you, but if you want to know something more about arpeggios and string skipping, let me show you. So let's start with a E major arpeggio, right? Uh, triad. So. Okay. So now I'm going to add a seventh, right? So we're going to have four notes. Tonic, third, fifth, and seventh. Major seventh here. So now I'm going to skip and I'm going to play, it's going to sound a little bit more open. So I'm going to skip the fifth here. And then I'm going to skip the third here. So now we're going to have two notes per string. So that's the lick. And that's uh, an E major, E major, major seventh arpeggio, right? So the technique one two one two one two one two one two. So Right. So now, after you learn that, you have to learn the other arpeggios. So uh, minor seventh, right? So we just go here from the major seventh, half step down. And now we have. Now let's play a minor chord because you have to know major chord with a major seventh. Major chord with a minor seventh. Now a minor chord with a major seventh and a minor chord with a minor seventh. Easy, right? So, minor. <laughs> So minor with a major seventh and with a minor seventh. It's always the same technique, it's always the same concept. We're just changing, you know, few notes, right? Um, next one is going to be the half diminished, okay? So now the half diminished is the minor arpeggio with a flat fifth. Okay. And the last one, diminished chord. So the seventh, go down half step. All right. So now we can play the whole thing in a sequence, right? A progression starting from the major ones. Alright, so after learning all those arpeggios, it's time to play some chord progressions. So let's say E minor, F major, F sharp, half diminished. Okay, so let me show you. Thank you very much, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments and see you on the next video.